people lost their lives the night of that shooting. Another 70 were injured, 58 with gunshot wounds. And you can bet they are now closely monitoring this trial. Among them, the family of Veronica Mosier Sullivan, the six-year-old, the youngest person to die in that shooting. Her mother also shot, suffering a miscarriage as a result of the shooting. She is now paralyzed. Now we continue our team coverage with 7 News reporter Jennifer Kovaleski. And Jennifer, the justice process moving very slowly as far as that family is concerned. Ann Hansen was emotional and had very strong opinions about what she believes the shooter's fate should be. She's also upset about how long it's taken to get to this point. Way too long. Uh, th this has been over two years. Mary Ellen Hansen says she's ready for the trial to be over, but the constant reminders are painful. Putting that back in my face uh, triggers a lot of uh, feelings where I, I just want it to be over and finished. Hansen's great niece, six year old Veronica Moser Sullivan, was among the 12 killed. Veronica's mother, Ashley, was wounded, suffered a miscarriage, and is now a quadriplegic. Hansen tells us Ashley is doing well, all things considered, and has adjusted to a new normal. Although she can move forward in her life, it's something that will never go away. Hansen says if she had her choice, a plea deal would be on the table. I think that would be the most humane thing to do. Hansen also responding to this letter, released by the shooter's parents in December, pleading for their son's life to be spared, saying he's not a monster. I understand from a mother's point of view how Mrs. Holmes may feel that way, but from the point of view of what he's done to the community, he did monstrous things, therefore he is a monster, and he is the boogeyman that comes in the night. Hansen is not a supporter of the death penalty, but says she wants to see the shooter locked up behind bars for the rest of his life. Where I know he's, go he's away from society, he can't hurt anybody, and basically he's a ghost. He's non-existent. Hansen also tells us that she's angry about how much money is being spent to determine whether or not the shooter was sane at the time of the shooting. Reporting live in Arapahoe County tonight, Jennifer Kovaleski, 7 News.